All right, I'm adding this on to the beginning because this video ran a little long, and I want to still maintain that this is a guide to get Ventures XP. I'm going to knock it out right away, and this is what I've been telling people on stream, and this is why I've never made this video before. If you want to get Ventures XP as fast as possible, in the conventional way, I'm not aware of any farming trick that's, like, effective, and I'm not going to support any kind of glitch for it. Cue the highest level missions that you can, always. Do these alert XP missions. Do these, you know, one after another. Once I complete this mission, that's gone. Just keep knocking out all of the missions in the highest level zone that you can. This can be expedited and sped up by playing with higher level players. That's what I've been doing. Ty baby has been ringing us to the 140 zones for a long time. I'm very fortunate for her help. And you might be able to get that from somebody else. Don't expect it. Please don't beg for carries. You can ask in our Discord and be very polite. The moderators are all about maintaining a nice and happy community and people who are generous to each other. So if you're going to ask for help, please be polite. But know that you can just queue your own highest level missions that you can run. And you're still going to get through Avengers in, in, a, in a good amount of time. I'm going to touch back on all of this throughout the video as, as you might continue to watch. But the other thing to note is that there are Ventures Challenge quests. At the end of these quests, you will get superchargers, and they are worth completing. These do give you extra XP, so always be mindful. There will be four of them. I've completed two of these. So there will be four of these quests, at least at any given time, all giving you bonus XP. And then the Venture Door to Darkness, I don't know if this gives XP, but it's still worth looking into. Ventures, Four Nightmares, all of these. Just maintain, just keep up with all of these Ventures quests. Make sure that you aren't skipping any and you aren't, you know, not doing it. Like, if it has a whole mission where you need to kill things with an SMG... Be sure you're using an SMG, get all that extra XP, and that will be the, the fastest way to get XP adventures that at least I'm aware of. Now I'm going to let the rest of this video uh, carry on because it's mostly a discussion, but I'll touch back on everything I just said in a little bit more detail. Okay, this is going to be a little bit more of a sit down and chat kind of video. So don't expect any crazy gameplay or anything wild. But if you if you have a snack, you might want to sit down for this because I feel like it's an important topic. Now, Reek here left a comment that really resonated with me, which doesn't happen often. I'm not going to lie. It was, it was kind of a big thing because I feel like the way he wrote this is pretty much <clears throat> like exactly how I've been feeling about Ventures and I won't read it in full but essentially the, the part that really clicked with me was like Ventures is driving him crazy, the grind's unbearable and he wants to play other missions but he's stuck playing Ventures and I feel like the common parallel me and my friends have been landing on is that like like the people I, I've been streaming with you know uh, we we've really felt like it's it's like we're putting off a homework assignment you know playing fortnite right now playing save the world is like like you can't queue normal missions you can't do dungeons you can't play the literal event dungeons without constantly feeling like ventures is just hanging over your head it's this thing you haven't done yet that you need to take care of but it's not that bad like it's really not that bad let me talk about this so this is to this day my only resource for these these um these rewards. I'm, I think this is a screenshot of a Google Doc. If anybody has this and I can get like a higher resolution, uh, comment below. I'll try to pin it. And I also want to comment. Uh, I also want to pin another thing because I don't have this information myself. But he was curious about when he'll be able to unlock other zones. Um, I don't think that's incredibly relevant. A lot of people ask that. Like, when am I going to be able to queue 108 and 124 and all these missions? I don't think it matters. Like, just keep doing. I'll talk about it later. I'll, I'll reiterate on this. But just keep doing like the highest level missions you can and you'll unlock it. You know. You'll, you'll get there in due time. We're going to talk about today, just before I get too far into the video, what I'm doing here. I want to talk about ventures and kind of the community feeling on it. And this is sort of a forum, like the comments below would be a great place to chat with other people, see what other people are thinking. And I want to talk about like the best way to level up. The reason I never made a video on this is it's there's not some fancy trick. I don't have a farming method. Nobody does. There is no get rich quick scheme. The best you can do, like in short, again, I'll read it on this later. In short is just play with the super high level player. Ty Baby has been carrying me and Ben's a lot. She just queues the 140 zones and we've been taking care of it. I'm incredibly grateful. I know a lot of people might hate on me for that but hey she can queue the highest level missions get me the most amount of xp i'm not gonna say no she's happy to do it i'm happy to <laughs> spend less time running ventures and i'll talk about why that is in a little bit i'm gonna get back to all of that but the thing is um when you unlock what missions if anybody knows that and wants to like comment below that'd be that'd be really great but the rewards are are basically what i'm looking at here um and and this is what i wanted to talk about so i'm gonna mute the oh you know what there is a 1080p version which Actually, that that helped. This is still low quality, but it helped. The point is, this is this is all that's relevant. Is this number right here? Three point one million. That's how much XP you need, and that's why uh, your ventures level. The thing that I have like at the top of the screen up there, 
is kind of irrelevant in my opinion it it doesn't matter it just it determines what you unlock and when but the number you should be looking for is this xp right here i have 2 million i need 3.1 million to be done 3.1 million is i hit level 50 and i've unlocked all the superchargers but there's another way to get superchargers that i feel like a lot of people don't know um you got to go to your ventures challenge quests and do these there are four of these i've completed two of them but once i eliminate the hurt the nurses and the flingers and i do every single quest in this line. Once I rescue these survivors and I do every quest in this line, there's a supercharger at the end of all four of these quests. I think there are there might be multiple superchargers at the end. I'm not 100% certain on that, don't quote me, but you should complete these because not only will it give you XP and expedite your, your grinding process, but it'll also give you, well, you know, superchargers, which is kind of what we're doing this for, isn't it? And then Ventures for Nightmare is like, I don't think these give anything but candy. I might be completely wrong. I think they're worth doing anyway. Get Willow. I mean, why not? And this is the part I said I'd reiterate on. And that is, this is the basic formula for maximum success. The thing you want to be paying attention to are a couple of things. So first and foremost is this number right here. This is called an alert reward. I know this is obvious to a lot of you, but that number, you can only do it once. So if I queue this Ride the Lightning and finish it and succeed, I will get 14,850 and then the, the reward is gone. So if you hop between all of the missions at the top, like I can queue on 24, if you queue the highest level missions that you can over and over and over, see, the Survive the Nights are in every zone. They don't give that alert bonus. You want to just do like these encampments, get 15,000. Do this uh, category four, do get 15,000. And the other thing you want to look at is this number down here. In these four player zones, you can get like 2x, 4x XP. I don't know about 4x, but I think you can get double Ventures XP. If you do all of these alerts, because that's the most efficient, is to get that 15,000, 15,000, 15,000, or like I said, I mean, it, it scales to your level, so 12,000. This is also to say that it will get faster and faster as you play. Like, one 140 zone is worth like 10 level, like 20 zones. So... This grind will get a lot shorter, but if you queue these these missions that give multiple XP bonuses, that will be fast. Uh, that, that'll be a lot faster. And the other thing that I always like to say about how the grind isn't as bad as you think is I am recording this video on October 12th, and I do believe I'm going to be uploading this little chat with you guys today. Uh, that'll probably be today's upload. Um, I know, I know people want me to do the Defenders video. That'll be, it'll be on the way, but I figured this was kind of important. I should have talked about this a while ago. The thing that I've been, I've been calling to a lot is that the Venture season was scheduled to end November 20th. That date might shift, but I'd expect if it changes it at all, if it changes at all, it's only going to be, only going to be pushed back. So, as I'm recording this, you've got a month and one week plus some change, you know, like a month and eight days, I think, roughly speaking, to finish this venture season. So I've been saying this since almost two months ago. If you queue ventures literally like one or two hours a night, you'll get through it probably just fine. Now, everybody's schedule's different. I have no idea what you have going on in your life. Maybe you've only got two or three days out of the week that you can play. Maybe you want to do like an eight hour grind session every single time. But when people say what he was saying, where they feel like they can't even play the normal game because Ventures is just a, uh, hanging over their head, I would say there's no rush. There really isn't any rush. There's no reason, there's none of these um, superchargers or anything do you need now. You might want to finish maxing out your weapon and hey, that's your initiative, that's your prerogative. But you don't need to do that right now. 130 weapons are perfectly powerful for every zone. So if you really want to supercharge something, that's on you. But you have over a month. If you're like in my, if you're not even started on ventures, I was going to say if you're at my level, but if you haven't even started ventures, you could start today, probably play. I don't, I don't, I don't know the exact math. I don't know how fast you're going to be going, but literally like two to three hours a night, maybe even less every single day. And if you come up short towards the end, like in the last week or two, that's when you can actually start grinding. That's when it's going to be a real problem. I'm not happy about this system. I don't think it's good. I don't think, uh, I've talked to a lot of people on stream. This isn't my opinion being projected. I've talked to a lot of people on stream who share these thoughts. I, I don't think Epic, I don't think you guys are making the call here i don't think this is the play i love the idea of a continual system that allows me to keep playing into the end game i love these late game rewards i think a lot of good features are here for adventures but the main thing i don't like about it and i mentioned this is again i said i'd reiterate on this the thing that i i i haven't been enjoying about it is 
in my personal opinion, this is where this isn't the group's opinion, but a lot of people have agreed with me on this, the, the vending machines. I am huge about weapons. If you've scrolled through my channel at all, <laughs> you know that I am big on weapons and schematics and perking them properly and perking them to have a little bit of fun. Like, just to show you guys that I don't always do, like, you know, optimal perks. My pop shot is like double reload with crit rating. I run uh, buckshot in the lead with this. That's a very fun build. That's way off topic, but it's just to show that you can have a lot of fun with weapons if you perk them properly. Ventures doesn't even have an inventory that you can manage outside of the game. If I go to my backpack, there's no Ventures tab. It's a whole different game. It's not like it expands on Save the World. It's not like it's a, a good addition. It's a separate temporary little environment. I hate it. I hate it. Let me use my inventory. Let me, if I, if I can't use my inventory, start me off with scratch, you know, nothing. I, I'd start at level, power level one. Let me craft the weapons that I can. Maybe all these 130 schematics I have are useless. I don't know. Like maybe I can only craft power level 12 until I can afford something better. Give me some control over my weapons and I'll enjoy ventures a lot because a lot of times I've just been using my bow loadout because I found a Xenon bow and I've just been running with that the whole time. And I don't care about this anything in ventures because that Xenon bow is temporary. I was lucky to get it. I didn't get one last season. A lot of people have been getting Xenon bows, which is honestly, I think, universally speaking, it is most adept to all situations. I would say in a conventional game to game mission, especially in ventures, the Xenon bow might be the best weapon in ventures. I know I made a top 10 list. I'm very careful with my wording here. I do not think the Xenon bow is the ultimate best weapon ever, but it it's conventionally like game to game missions probably the best weapon in the game so if you get a xenon bow like a bow loadout is an easy way to cheese through this you shouldn't be able to cheese through ventures like let me use whatever loadout i want let me use my normal weapons um i feel like i'm not allowed to play fortnite if i'm playing ventures these missions that i cover every single day uh spoiler alert i don't do them most of the time because a few times i have streamed recently and i don't blame them for this i usually play with ben's and tie baby and you know people from the stream and ben's has really really wanted to finish ventures so i've just been doing ventures with him again i don't blame him i want to finish it too it's not a big deal but i haven't been doing the missions i want to be doing just because we got ventures to finish ventures this is another idea i'm not just trying to ramble uh, I've talked about this a lot on stream. People like this where, like I said, I love the rewards of ventures. If they were, if those missions that you could do in ventures and the rewards were stacked on top of like normal missions, that'd be awesome. That'd be really, really good. Like these zones that we're playing in here, I don't know the complexities of this, but you know how they have the tropical zones off to the side? What if there were like normal missions off to the side and they just transformed twine peaks and canny and stonewood and plankerton into the ventures hexylvania zone because i love that atmosphere i want to say i'm not just hating on the game i really i'm a halloween nut by the way i i really like halloween like i can even show this just kind of while we're chatting here i uh uh where are we i don't want to show anything that i shouldn't here cute animals there you go so our whole discord has like the happy halloween the minerva logo the yolo made uh, hylian swordsman to the the banner here we're very very big on the halloween season and it's um something i personally really enjoy so that's to say that i, I really do genuinely love this hexylvania zone but it's locked behind ventures so you've got an amazing zone and awesome rewards and decent quests hey kill flingers kill lobbers kill whatever whatever the quests have all been you know a little bit of fetching grab a little bit of elimination i've actually quite enjoyed it i think the ventures is better this season but you're locked behind an inventory that's not yours and it's temporary which means people aren't going to care like i'm not keeping any of these weapons so why <laughs> maybe the vending machine should give me only my own schematics i don't know i like that you can't drop weapons you can't just give people stuff but i don't know it's like it's a critical thing that's why i keep coming back to the vending machine because i feel like ventures is like 95 percent there for me personally but it's not quite and my last point i think my last point if if nothing else comes to mind the, the major thing that i want to drive home is the ventures xp it's time-gated content. This is a term that I'm stealing from Reddit. Someone had a good write-up. I don't read Reddit often, but that one that one caught me. Is time-gated content, meaning you can't speedrun ventures. You can't go fast. I mean, you can go fast, as we've talked about today. You can go through it efficiently. That's very true. But you can't really crank it out one day. You need to start a couple of weeks in advance. Like, if you get towards the end of the season and you're almost done, 
uh, you you need to have like a three week head start. If you haven't started ventures in the last you know week or two, you are either going to have a hell of a time grinding eight hours a day every day, or you're not going to finish. I don't like that. You should be able to catch up. I agree with Epic. I, I understand how they keep releasing events and people finish them in a day. But there's got to be some middle ground, and this is not it. Because to those who don't know, I've I've ignored this figure for this entire video. But we did the math pretty quickly. I had... I um, um, Desudation is a, is a popular... Uh, like, a, a regular in my stream. And he was, I think, one of the first, like, 50 people. Maybe even, like, higher up on that list to finish Venture Season 1. So the dude knows what he's talking about. That took him efficiently, with motivated friends and basically no sleep, about 50 hours. So that's kind of my... My mental figure is about 50 to 60 hours if you seriously know what you're doing and you're motivated with the crew. That's how long Venture Season 1 took. They added a million or more. I think they added a million XP to the season. That was 2.1 million XP. This season is 3.1 million. So easy math tells you that this new season takes about... It depends. This varies greatly on your own experience. I'm rounding a ton here. But about... 70 to 90 hours and 90 hours if you're not absolutely speedrunning it is, is about accurate in my opinion uh, it, it's about 90 freaking hours of content which eight hours a day or well hey, easy math nine hours a day is 10 straight days of nine hour sessions <laughs> nobody wants to do that epic <laughs> some of the grindiest players in this game spat on that idea like nobody wants to do that so anyway I think I've I think I've shared everything I wanted to say on this topic. I know that this isn't like a clear cut tutorial. I I did put it in the, in the video fairly soon, but to reiterate, queue the highest level missions that you can. Do these alert missions for the XP, and I mentioned that these give XP. Do these challenges alongside it. In my missions right now, nurses and flingers are my primary targets because that's ten thousand XP that I'm going to get and a supercharger at the end of it. That's worth doing. I hate saving survivors, but it's giving me eight thousand ventures XP. Just for free alongside the missions I'm already doing. And again, a supercharger at the end of it. So they're worth doing. It sucks. It's grindy. But I don't know. I, I, I don't mind killing fl uh, flingers and nurses. Nurses are my least favorite zombies in the game. So a, a quest that forces me to kill them. There's a part of me inside that really enjoys that. So anyway, I hope that I, uh, I, I got everything out here clearly. I hope I answered every single question. Please, if you know uh, when you unlock what missions and you have like a whole list of them that you can just comment below i'll pin that i really will and if you want to also include <clears throat> a better higher resolution image of what the rewards are i'll link this video down below so you can check it out in your own personal whole, full quality because i know that this video is a compressed version of this video which is compressed by youtube so i'll link my original video that should show it and uh yeah keep going everybody don't quit the game there's no point in it uh even if you if you really don't like ventures just keep playing it's it's still a fun game it's still the game you enjoy Ventures is not that grindy. It, it's a ton of XP. Like I said, 90 hours, but that's if you want to do it every single day, nine hours a day. If you do it three hours a day, you could just spread that out over a month and you'll be done. You'll, you'll be done. If you guys need any help, I should have said this in the beginning, but I wanted to filter out all the people with a short attention span. If you need any help and you're a nice person, ask her in our Discord. Uh, be very polite. Ty Baby, she runs it for other people as well, not just me. So ask her politely. Be a nice person and, and make some friends. And uh, Discord link's below. We are in this together. You don't have to do ventures alone. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'll work on the Defender video soon, but I wanted to get this out there. So I'll, uh, I'll see you uh, next time. Oh, also, use, um, use, use code miss. I'd appreciate that. Okay, bye. And then...